Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to some more Knights of Honor. We have here our little kingdom. We got greatly attacked in the last episode. Broke up our kingdom into only two or three provinces, but that's okay because that's more manageable now. In the last episode, I appointed a bunch of merchants to get my economy going, which you can see it's flourishing right now. We also made an alliance with France because we were getting attacked by Mecklenburg and also from Austria. Austria made the fatal mistake of attacking me. I captured their king in battle, and once I executed him in my dungeons, it seems as if their empire has completely fallen apart. It is no longer on the map. That's what you get when you mess with me. Let's begin with this episode. It looks like we are starting with an invasion here from our friends in the north. That is totally okay. Bring it on. He looks like he's going to make the mistake of attacking me down here. He can do that if he wants. I don't recommend it, though. So, I'm going to move all of these guys to the castle. And then I'm going to move this general to one of my other provinces in Nassau. Because I can make swordsmen over here. And that is going to be a lot better than peasants, obviously. Now, I mentioned in the last episode that there are multiple ways to win this game. One of the ways to win the game is to conquer all of Europe, naturally. Another way to do it is to obtain all of the kingdom advantages. So if you have different resources from the different provinces that you can conquer, you unlock a kingdom advantage. If you get all of these, you can win the game. A third way to win the game is diplomatically. Every once in a while, there is a great council in Europe, and all the great powers get to vote an emperor. And if you get voted in, you can win that way as well. So, Mecklenburg offers a ransom of 5,300 gold pieces. We're gonna decline that. Screw that. Well met, Albert, second emperor of Germany. Long has Venice been a thorn in our side. The king of Switzerland would like you to attack them. What says the emperor of Germany? Can't do that. Might ceding the town of Salzburg from our kingdom influence Emperor Germany's decision? So he's offering me a province to attack, but I'm not going to do it. I'm worried about establishing myself first, building a nice army, good economy, before I actually start conquering anything. I'm going to increase my kingdom power. Alright. So, let me go back to my provinces. And let me continue to build things. Let me build... What do I want to build? Enemy troops have crossed our borders. Let's do a Fletcher. Over here, I'm going to want to build a bakery. I don't have enough gold. It's totally okay, we will soon. Looks like we are getting invaded once again though. Golly. Alright, that's it. We're going over there. I'll take a trade agreement with Georgia. I'll take all the trade agreements I can get. Yes. And this guy's over here. So, let me move all these guys to my general. There we go. Perfect. And then let me make sure this battle's going well. Looks to be balanced right now. I really need to get some swordsmen for this general. Because he only has peasants. That's unacceptable. Although he is pretty leveled up. And he has a lot of different skills. As you can see, his morale over here is just completely diminished. Thanks to my general. Alright, let me put him back in the castle. We captured yet another general. Which is wonderful. Then let me build some stuff. Let me get that bakery going. And then in the south, gonna want to make a church as soon as I have the money. Or maybe for now. Yeah, I'll wait for the money. I'll, I'll wait for a church. So I'm actually going to use my general to kill this guy. He is a little bit more experienced than I am, but I am confident that, can, that I can defeat him because I do have much better troops than he does. But I'll just keep an eye on this battle, just in case. Sire, 
We were rewarded a glorious victory. So I can't let him get away. I'm gonna chase him down, obviously. So he's offering ransoms again. You know what? I'll I'll take the ransom. I could use a little bit of money. A little bonus. Plus it hurts them to have to pay that much, you know what I mean? So why not? What is your command? Sire, we have won a battle. And I just took another prisoner, so he got kind of screwed there on that deal. Political view. Alright. Let's take a look at the province overview. Let's build something here. Let's get that church going. I need to get a priest here pretty soon before I start conquering lands. You'll see soon you'll soon see why I need a priest when I go on the offensive. Yes, a new my building Lord. has been built, sire. Now it would be nice if I could get better units here, so I need to build some other things here. In Alsace, I am going to... Let's start making... Eh. No, I want to make a swordsmith. Let me see what kind of units I can get here. Let's get some archers for defense. I think that's the best defense unit, is just ranged units. So they can shoot from outside the walls. So for here, let me actually build a wall. That makes it much more difficult for enemies to conquer this place. Because they'll have to siege the town as opposed to assault it. What is your wish? Then let's see what's going yes. on here. I had some experience. Let's give him some leadership. Let's give him a swordsman. Repair all these guys. Let me move these peasants over. I don't want to move all of them, I just want to move these three, okay. Most beloved ruler, Petru, of Moldovia. Sire, we have spotted enemy troops marching through our lands. So, I think that is the general that I freed earlier. Let us attack yes, him once Lord. more. I will crush these peasants. So he's offering a ransom, 5300 man. I'll take it. I'll keep bankrupting him and using his money to build my kingdom. And when I'm ready, I will strike with a vengeance and just absolutely destroy him. Let's see how this is going. I really do need to upgrade my troops for this guy, though. That's an absolute must. This battle looks... Yeah. Looks all right. Sire, Looks like I'm gonna win. You will not get away, sir. Nobody gets away. It's not how we do things. Although he is like 30 times faster than me, so I don't know if I can catch him. I'll just come back for now. Let's speed things up a little bit. The Pope has called for a crusade. We have been called to war. So we have been declared to war from France. That's not good. I will accept a trade agreement. Let me slow things down a little bit and take a look at the map. Ah, so we are once again on this western border in a very difficult situation. We have Mecklenburg, we got France. Really gonna need some help here. I'm going to ask my friend here. It's funny that my only ally looks exactly like me. It's the same exact portrait that I picked for my guy. Let's ask him to attack Mecklenburg. Our word is ever our bond. We will honor our alliance with the Emperor of Germany and ride to war against Mecklenburg. Sire, we have spotted enemy troops marching through our land. That's good. So now Denmark will kind of help me out with these guys. That way I can kind of focus my efforts on defending a little bit better. We do have these guys coming in. And he does look like he has a pretty good army and a good level 2 general as well so this is a little bit of a cause for concern but let me just fill up Enemy my garrison here okay and then we have france and alsace a rebel and that's not good 
And then we have some Rebels. Oh my gosh. Mecklenburg offers a ransom. Hold on, I got my guy of Denmark here. Greetings, Albert II, Emperor of Germany. We have always honored our alliance. Now it is our turn to call the Emperor of Germany for help. Please, as dictated by our alliance pact, attack Brandenburg. I'll do that. I'll do that, and I'll also accept this ransom. I don't want to be in too many wars, but at the same time, I do want to have at least one ally that I'm working with consistently throughout this game. And I think that's going to be Denmark, at least for now. Although now I am in big trouble because I do have three countries all around me. This is not good. We definitely need to start stabilizing. Maybe start attacking. Need some of these buildings to finish so I can make a better army over here. Yes. Let me take care of these I rebels. Crush these peasants. Do have a lot of money. I don't know what to do with all that money. I can stop accepting ransoms for starters. Since I am not needing any money. I could also give some to my ally. It's not a bad idea to give your money away for diplomatic favors. The reason for that is that the more money you have, the less you make because of inflation. So you don't want to be stockpiling too much money. Let me see what's going on here. I keep releasing this guy. And he keeps coming back. He does not learn his lesson. I'm going to execute him. Yes, I'm going to capture him and I'm going to execute him. To battle and victory. That's just the way it's going to be. Politics. Now what we can do is we can buy off one of these kingdoms here. In fact, we might be able to buy off France. Don't care about Poland. And we got that fight going on. That guy's attacking. Yes, Alright, let's see how this battle's going. It's going alright. This guy will not survive my dungeons for a third time. If I capture him, he is dead. He better fight to the last man, because if he goes to my dungeon... Warm food at last. Now that I am more skilled, I want to raise... I promised it. He's gonna die now. He is dead. Political view. So I'm going to buy off France. I'm going to... Let's try it. White piece. I will not give him a province. I'm going to offer tribute. I'm going to give him some money. So the king of Denmark has passed away. As our courts are kin, you have the right to lay claim to his land. Would the emperor of Germany wish to claim to the provinces of Pomerania and Zealand. No, I am I have my plates full right now. I don't need any more provinces to manage right now. Plus, if you claim land from a king who has just died, that actually is pretty bad on you and the other countries don't like that, so I'm going to say no. Denmark is eternally grateful that we did not claim land. Our relation is vastly improved as a result. So let me offer money to France. He does not want nearly 10,000 gold, so I don't think that's going to work out too well. Yes. Alright, let's see what's going on here. What is your command? Really need some of these buildings to finish so I can get some more military buildings. I want to start making an army so I can start going on the offensive and start taking care of some of these enemies. Let me take a look at Denmark, though. Okay, the new king is Eric. He looks like a freaking Viking. So, you may have heard that the Pope has called for a crusade. Basically, the papacy over here actually has a Pope. And the Pope can summon armies from any Catholic nation and send them off to fight Muslim nations that are mainly in North Africa and here towards the east, which is kind of an interesting mechanic in the game as well. At your service, Make sure this guy is trading with somebody. Let's go with the Ottomans. They've got a ton of money. 
and all my buildings finished so let me start making some buildings here let me go with let me start making some of these so I can start getting some valuable resources so let's go with a vineyard here in Hess we want a military building we want maybe a swordsmith and in a sow we're probably going to want a Fletcher, so we can make bowmen. Alright, I think that's going to be good. Let me come back up here. Let's increase my kingdom power. All the way to five. Alright, I want to kind of take a look at things here. Venice is getting pretty powerful down here. Sire, we have spotted enemy troops marching through our lands. Eh, I don't know what I want to do. So France is still just wreaking havoc down here, which isn't good. Hopefully my bowmen can defend. At least this town has a wall. Savoy, I don't care. You're now my ally. Let me take a look at my king. king he's venerable. That means he's about to die any second now. Really, I should have made him my heir because he's younger. That would mean he'll have more time to make kids. But that's okay. It's too late for that now. What is your wish? So I'm going to wait for these buildings so I can start making a worthy army. Your goal. And then we'll go from there. We have built a new building, sire. Okay. So in Alsace, I'm going to make a winery. And then I should be able to have wine as a kingdom good. The Pope has called for a crusade. A new I also need, has been finished, sire. need to start making some churches. Let's go ahead and do some walls Sire, here. We have spotted enemy troops marching through Let me slow land. things down. Things are going a little fast. France is still marching around here. They can't decide if they want to attack or not. If they do, I think I can hold them off. So I'm not too worried about that. I think we should be good here. Winning decisively. That's what I like to hear. Yes. Alright, so let me get rid of all these peasants. Let me see if I can get something better. Uh, should be able to finish this swordsmith soon. Okay. Let us take what a look at this on? guy. Then let me get rid of these three. And I think now I can make bowmen, which is nice. We have built a new building, sire. So let me get rid of three of these. And make archers. So I have some melee units and some ranged units. I think that's a nice little mix. And then let me take a look at Hess here. I can finally make some freaking archers. Or uh, swordsmen. But now I want to make archers too. Alright, let me get rid of these guys. Get some swordsmen. Alright. Doing well. We're doing well here. I do have to replace these guys as soon as possible with people from my actual royal courts. That is to say princes, because these could be spies and I just don't know. Political view. Let's see how things are going. Denmark is holding its own. Sire, we have spotted enemy troops marching through our land. Okay, and now we got France up in here. All right. They're just going to lose again if they try to attack, so I'm not too worried. My name is worth many bags of My gold, king sir. is not trading anything. Let us trade let's see. these fine people. Uh Let's do Georgia, I guess. Okay. Now, once you have a thousand books, you can actually level up 
your merchants, and your other members of the royal court up to level 5. The only ones you can't level up are the marshals, the generals. You only level them up by combat, obviously. The reason I'm not going to use my books on these guys is because I don't plan on keeping them around. So now that I have my winery, I have wine. I'm going to fire them, so I don't necessarily want to waste my resources on them. I don't want to use it on my king, because he's about to die. And I don't want to use it on my prince, because he's about to become king. And I'm going to recall him to the royal court to make babies. Your king is dead. So the king just died, unexpectedly. Prince Frederick became the new emperor. Okay, and just in time, the king of France is offering a peace treaty. I will gladly accept that. The less wars, the better. And then immediately, I'm going to call this guy back to the throne room so he can start making babies. I hope he's not too old. Okay, he's juvenile. And hopefully, they'll start popping out babies pretty soon. The more, the merrier. Yes, my lord. So let's see what else I can build here in Alsace. Hmm, let's see. Market, need a tax collector's office. Let's go ahead and let's do that. Let's build a tax collector's office. Or actually let me let me do some of these other resources for now. Yes. Still don't have a Fletcher here. So this guy is ready to go. I can start attacking with him. And I'm going to focus attacking the north. Looks like Denmark conquered a little bit of the Mecklenburg Empire, which is nice. I myself am going to start attacking them pretty soon. Uh, I want to reconnect my empire as well, and I also want to get a coastal city. It's important to have coastal cities. Political view. Let me take a look though. Got some big kingdoms here. Algeria pretty much controls half of Northern Africa. Golden Horde is doing pretty well. Lithuania pretty much controls all of Eastern Europe. Doing okay here. I think once we're ready to start moving, Europe is just going to fall very quickly to our will. I do need some princes quickly though, so I can start filling up the royal court. I'm going to need a priest pretty soon, or a cleric is the correct term. The reason I need a cleric is because once you conquer a new town, those people are loyal to their original roots. So for example, if I conquer Saxony, they're going to be Saxons at heart. So what you need to do is you need to use a cleric to convert the population and kind of assimilate them to your own culture. If you don't do that, they're more prone to forming rebellions. And once you start expanding your empire, if you have a bunch of loyalists, what happens is there's so many rebellions that they're just going on constantly and it really, really hurts you. So you don't want to have to worry about that too much. Let me build that. Then in a sow, let's see what I can build here. Let's do a tax collector's the office for now. For a, crusade. a new construction yes, has been Lord. finished. Okay, and then we do have a Fletcher now. So let me get some bowmen here, and then let me get rid of all these guys. And replace them all with bowmen. As soon as I have more people here available. And in the meantime, let me build something else. Let's build a sheep farm, cattle farm, so I can build a library, but I'm going to need the parchment maker. How do I get the parchment maker? Parchment maker, I need a cattle farm and a tool smithy. So let's start with a tool smithy and then I'll do a cattle farm and then I'll make a library. Library is going to help me make books a lot faster, which is going to be good. In fact, I'm going to level up one of my merchants uh, since I'm not producing books if they're already maxed out. So it's almost kind of a waste to not be doing that. And I think that now I am ready to start attacking because I have two good armies. So what I'm going to do is 
Move these command? guys out. Move. What Move. Is your command? Everybody out. And we're going to attack. I don't want to conquer too much. Because I don't want to have too many provinces. And not be able to control them all. Has been finished, sire. Like I mentioned, I want to be able to get a cleric before I start really conquering stuff. Or else I'm going to have all these loyal populations that I can't control. So I just want to conquer one or two. And then once I have a cleric, I'll convert the populations and then go on a mass conquest. So let me do we some hotkeys here. Let me build some stuff. Let me do a tool smithy. And then in a cell, let me do a market. Okay. What is your wish? Then let's go over here. And let's take over Saxony. We're going to make our move on Mecklenburg. Because they've caused me a lot of grief. And it looks like they're dealing with rebels as well. Looks like they... This is mercenary camp. Okay. So let's go ahead and attack Saxony. I am moving. Then we can take their capital over, maybe, and just be completely we rid of them. That way we're not at war. And this is absolutely beautiful. We have a son, so we have an heir. That is wonderful. All these Middle Eastern countries, man, really want to have trade agreements with me. It's quite odd. So let's assault. And you can see we are just winning absolutely decisively. We got two of our best generals here against their one wimpy. The Pope died. Sorry, the Pope has died. And a cleric from Croatia has been elected. We possess one more town now. Perfect. So I conquered Saxony. And we're taking over town mind? authority. Let me go ahead and increase his leadership. And then I'm going to recall this guy back to Nassau. While well, this one stays here. That's good. Now let's take a look at the map. And you can see that Mecklenburg is suffering. A messenger has arrived. And France is pleased about that, which is good. So I think this is a good stopping point for this episode. You get to see a little bit of conquest. And you can see where this is headed. We're about to go on the offensive. The only thing I'm waiting for is for my prince to grow so I can turn him into a cleric. And I think we should be good to go. Actually, before we end the episode, let's go for this council. From time to time, all the rulers of the most powerful kingdoms gather together to elect the ultimate emperor of Europe. Now the time has come to vote once more. So like I mentioned in, episode, in this episode actually, this is one of the ways you can win the game. If everybody votes for you as the most powerful king or emperor, then you win. But usually, everybody will abstain from voting. So again, everybody abstained, no emperor has been elected, and the game continues in the next episode. Be sure to leave a like on this video and I'll we see you then.